So the next step while working on my nesting bowls, you see that they're, they're just cradling each other perfectly. I'm going to pull them apart. They're a little bit more on the leather hard side. Now I used um, time for part of that, but as I was sculpting the bottoms, I did feel that there was a little heaviness there. So we do want to make sure that, you know, the thickness is the same throughout. So that spot did tend to be a little bit um, wetter on each of my pieces. So I did pull out my heat gun and I used that for just a couple of minutes to um, evaporate some of the moisture through heat from the bottom of each of these pieces. So now they are ready to go and they're ready to sculpt. So now based on my sketch, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and begin putting this texture on the outside and some on the inside. Now I am still gonna be introducing some of that texture and carving into my pieces with the Scraffito technique as well, but I wanna get a little bit of that um, form done prior to using pigment on the surface of my pieces. So again, some of the things that you might want when you're sculpting into your vessels would be um, a little bit of water. I like to have a, a paintbrush handy that I can get in there and, and smooth some things. Um, things like dull pencils are always really helpful or sometimes I'll even pull out like a mechanical pencil, but you know I'm a sucker for using these little baby ribbon tools. So I am going to begin just by selecting one of my nesting bowls. I'm actually gonna choose the one cup and I'm gonna flip my piece over and I'm gonna begin sculpting the underside of it. Now, you know, the sculpting tools are using um, the subtractive method. You can work directly on your tables. You can put a piece of paper under your work or you know that I love to work with my banding wheel because then as I'm working, I can just turn that, that banding wheel and I don't have to move the piece itself. So using my baby ribbon tool, I'm gonna go ahead and start to place some texture in the exterior of this form. I'm not digging too far into the surface, just enough to give it a bit of a texture. Um, and I'm gonna kind of make these little striations. Now remember, it's called a ribbon tool because it's gonna pull off these little ribbons of clay. Don't let those fall on the floor, get crushed and, and put up in the air. Let's just collect those and we'll put them in the recyclable clay bin when you're, when you're done sculpting for the day, okay? So this, um, next step on my nesting bowls is just the sculpting step where I'm starting to embellish the interior and exterior through sculpting methods. I'm going to stop the video now and I'll come back when I've got that part ready and I'm ready to talk about adding the underglaze. 